Can I swear? Fuck yeah. Okay. Go on. <laughs> All right, rolling. I clapped. I know you're rolling. Um, so there's an intro thing, so we just have to sit quiet. Okay, that's my camera. Okay, that's mine. That one? Mm, whatever. I don't, okay. Why does everybody do this? Who cares? I'm just said that's my camera. So I don't look at that one? No. I need to fucking look at it. It's actually pretty and stupid. This is but just, yeah, shh. Did you mix this? It sounds like it. Did it sound like that, like through the speakers? That's Did my you, sound, yeah. Is you put the speakers in another room? Yeah, that, that distant like, is that a guitar or a bassoon? That's kind of what I do. It's like a wall of sound, but like a, like a picket fence. But that's like a wall between you and your sound. So I don't, I'm not getting this really. Not many people do. You just made that up. <laughs> I did. You did. Should we start again? Let's Yes. Hey, Chris. How are you, man? It's Very really good. nice to actually meet you in person. Yes, this is fun, Andrew. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Wait till the end to thank me, because okay. you may not. You have a studio. I do. It's full of a bunch of old shit. It is. And it's called, it's like Back to the Future, Future... It's called Welcome to 1979. So why 1979? It sounded really cool, quite honestly. I guess. So what I did initially was to, to reverse engineer the name was I took my console, which was made in 78, and my tape machine, which was made in 81, and I averaged them out. And I came up, it's, you know, 79 and a half wait, or something. Wait, wait, so, wait, 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 wait. What? So it was made in 81. The tape machine. Console was made in 78. So it's more of like a theme park. Yeah, totally. But it, it couldn't have been. So do you tell people when they look at your tape machine, you're actually looking into the future because... Basically. You're in 1979. Like, do you dress up for this? No, it's more of a state of mind. So we have Pro Tools and all that. So it's so it's, it's a farce. Kind of, it's, it's kind of farce. bullshit. It's, bull yeah. it's a state park. I it's like that. Total, yeah. total yeah. bullshit. Yeah. So you have Pro Tools, but you totally. have a tape machine. Yep. Why? To phrase it, I we unplug the tape machine to plug in Pro Tools is kind of how I. What if you need them both at the same time? We use them both at the same time. But then they both have to be plugged in. True. We're that guy. <laughs> yeah. I, I really get the feeling you have no idea what you're talking no, about yet. I'm, Should we start over again? No, no. no. <laughs> All right. No, we we'll just get worse. We'll just keep, we'll keep going. <laughs> yeah, I'm more like a two-take guy. All right. Do you want to go on to something else? Sure. Yeah, so I, your favorite TV show? It's Law & Order, yeah. You could watch Law & Order all day, all every day. All day, every day. It's a Law & Order marathon. Why... Is it just Martha. because it is actually on that much, or yeah. there's some hot actress, right? No. Forget your wife's over there, but she can't hear you. No, she, we it's got not. The well, yeah, I mean. So who know. is it? Um, man, what's her name? I don't know her name. You're, I forget. Oh, I'm on the spot. Dude, I'm not going to names. It's just been it's, nonstop lies. But not, you know, gotta, it's a complicated life. It's not really. It's just. It's when you lie about things, it's hard to keep it straight. That's the complicated part. If you told the truth all the time, it's really fucking simple. I'm trying to tell the truth. That's all right. So what I like about the show is, yeah. it, one, it's well-written. It really is. is. It? It, it moves around. Okay. And, and um, ironically, there's 456 episodes. 456. So this is a tape thing. For it you. turned out it is. And is that, is that your favorite tape formulation that you no. use when you record? What do you, what do you use? 499. 456. I can't mm -hmm. do the math in my head. That's how many episodes? I mean, how many seasons? That's 456 no, I mean, episodes. How many, how many I mean, seasons? it's tough math. I know it's... Yeah, how many seasons? Um, I don't know. Oh, have you not seen the show? Why would I watch the show? Because it's amazing. All right. Is there anything you'd like to talk about? Since you're here, you know, for puremix.net, this is going to go out huge audience. It's all on you. So okay. is there anything you got? Um... Well, I mean, I'm, I'm here at NAMM representing Mar Machine, a company I own that restores analog tape machines, which is kind right. of fun. When you say restoring, mm -hmm. bringing back from the dead, like you will redo head stacks and mm -hmm. everything? Yeah. So the machines we sell, are they come with a warranty and lifetime support and all that kind of stuff. But you always want to start with the carcass of a different machine. You're not building any from scratch. No. But you will do any brand machine? No, only MCI machines. Only MCI. Yeah. You might have wanted to say that earlier. I could Because I would think there are lots of people with Studers who might want them, or Ampexes, mm -hmm. would want them looked at. 
Yeah. And you're telling me it's only MCI. It right? is. Yeah. So for a classic example of that is the power switch for the MCI machines we use. Can You can buy them at like Ace Hardware for $9. So you're saying that I could do what you're doing for $9. Exactly. Yep. It's, it's not a good easy. business model. It's a start. Yeah. And all you do is the power switch? It doesn't it. seem very thorough. Well, it's easy, though. It's like it's, it turns on. It's there. It's shiny. It's new. No, but that was, that was like no. an example of what we do. So. All right. Now, here's a question for you, right. an actual question. So are MCIs your favorite tape machines? Yes. Or they're just, so you always sonically, like, that's the machine for you. Yep. Multi-track and two-track. Yep. So your favorite MCI machine is a JH24? For multi-tracking, for sure. That is the machine I learned on. Really? University of Miami, Miami, obviously MCI. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 500 series console oh, yeah. and a JH24. So did you feel that the machine was very approachable? So you mean like it was easy to get near? What do you think about the amazing engineers, like especially in the reggae scene in Jamaican and things, who would basically EQ by biasing the machines? And I believe they had a bunch of MCIs down there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time. I think that's pretty badass. I could never do it because I couldn't keep my, yeah, get my head around it. That's but. my that's my point. When I when I think about that process, you're adding a lot more of the human element in it and listening to distortion. I don't think I could do it, so I don't do that. And I don't teach that. I teach accuracy and meters are accurate. And all so that. teach. Who are you teaching? Through Mara machines, we have about 400 machines, maybe 500 now out in the world. So and those you train are, people when they get the machine. Yep, and then we do tape camps twice a year. Tape our, camps. Tape camps. Yeah. So it's like band camp, only less much. stuff happens. And, yeah, not not flutes. Yeah, exactly. Right. So. Sorry about that. Was that a gunshot? That's the last interviewee. Oh. <laughs> he lied too. <laughs> I think we can end it there. <laughs>